All right, I don't know how much you can see of this or how well or clear it is, but here's the situation. I adjusted the idle screws so that they touch at the same time to try to keep them in sync with each other by turning them the same amount each time I adjusted the idle. Now, a situation I just noticed is with the air box out of the way, I can see the slides, and when I move the throttle, watch this slide over here compared to that slide over there. Okay, this one already starts to move before the other one lifts up off the idle stop. That means they're not in sync. So, I adjusted the jam nut on the top of the carburetor. I'm turning the adjuster barrel clockwise in a downward motion to give it more slack. Try it again. Okay, they're getting closer, but I can still see this one on the left is picking up before the one on the right. So let's go a little further. Try it now. Well, the only thing I can do, really, is loosen these up. Because I can't tell now if the idle screws are holding the pistons up. And that's what's making the cables Okay, here we go. Let's see now. You can hear there's a slight clack, like a double clack. Which means one is hitting before the other. Let's give this one a little bit more play in it by screwing it downwards a little bit more. Okay, and... Okay, now this one needs to go up a little bit. There it is. The clack is uh, there in unison. You can hear there's just one clack. If you can hear it over the traffic going by, that is. All right, time to tighten down the jam nut. They're synced to each other. I can't believe they were off as much as they were from each other, but they were. Let's see here. Might as well. Okay, there's where it touches. Let's go one turn. Try it on this side. There's where, where it touches, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, it definitely touches right there. Okay, so let's go one turn on this side. There, that's probably going to be too low of an idle, but that's all right. We can fix that later.